Uh, hey, yo, what's up gamers? Welcome back to another video. It's me again, Bullets Hotel, and today I had a phlebotomy procedure, and I'm going to be telling you guys about it because, like, this is- this is important stuff that you guys really need to know. Like, you could be watching the news and learning about, like, climate change and stuff, but you shouldn't do that because that's boring. Instead, do something fun, like watching me, a tower, tell you about how I got my blood removed today. I had three, um, three bottles of blood removed, three little tubes, three little vials of blood removed from this arm. Um, and you see, I, I love phlebotomy procedures. Um, what's it called? Um, I used, I actually do know how to phlebotomy do phlebotomy procedures because a few years ago I was actually obsessed with doing phlebotomy procedures and learning about blood so I know everything about the order of veins and how to conduct and do a phlebotomy procedure and all of the correct steps and the order of tubes and all that kind of stuff um, and so today after school um well actually no a few days ago um I went to see the psychiatrist lady um who told me that I don't have schizophrenia or psychosis and that it's probably just autism or ADHD and then she said okay um we need to check your blood levels go here's a little paper thingy for doing a blood draw which you can do sometime um and so then I was just like okay cool and then it had like all of why does my computer keep moving anyways yeah it had like all of the boxes ticked and a bunch of other stuff run to the side I have no clue what it all meant because like doctor's handwriting I talked about this in yesterday's video but it's completely confusing I did not understand any of it um, so anyways yeah my mum and I went today and it was really really fun mm. Well, you see, it was fun. Yeah, it was actually kind of fun. I enjoyed it. I was, it was kind of underwhelming though, because you see, we went into the place, like, it was like freezing cold, but like, I mean, my mom, I don't think that she thought it was really, I didn't think that she thought, I didn't, I didn't, my mom, she probably didn't think it was cold, but I, I thought that it was extremely cold. Um, and so we went to the place, I was holding the note, this is immediately after school by the way, um, so we went in there and we got up a little thing and like we just kind of sat down and waited and then this lady came and she was just like, okay, what are you guys here for? And I was just like, I'd like to have a blood test please and then I handed her the note and she was just like, okay, come with me. And so I sat down on this really cool chair and by really cool chair, it was cool because it was dark blue and then it was kind of foamy and I, I sat down on it and she did some random stuff on the computer, asked me to confirm my details, all of the stuff that you need to do, you know what I mean? Um, she didn't explain what exactly I was in there for, so I just assumed that it was a phlebotomy procedure, which it was. Um, and then the lady, she was just like, oh, Confirm your name and date of birth. Wait a minute, I can't do... She, she said that she couldn't do phlebotomy procedures on 14 year olds. Um, I'm not 14, I'm only 13 and a half. Um, so that was kind of confused because like she can't do them on 14 year olds. But does that include me? No, it doesn't. Um, so anyways, yeah. But turns out it does actually include me, um, even though I'm not 14. Um... And so this other lady got called in, and she she just started typing some stuff, and she was just like, okay, do you have any thyroid medication? I was just like, no. Um, and then she did the test. Oh, she drew my blood. Actually, no. So you see, she put the tourniquet on, right? And then she wiped down the area, except she didn't wipe it down properly. Because you see, when doing phlebotomy procedures, you're supposed to go outwards in an outward position in like an outward spiral motion so that you don't disinfect the area twice but no when she was doing it she was just like okay there there with the wipe and then put it away somewhere i don't know um which i thought was very not good and she was just like okay look away no look away and i was sad because i wanted to watch i wanted to see it and it looked nice and plus who knows i could be a phlebotomist in the future i want like to know this stuff it's not every day that you get your blood removed. Um, so I was sad that I didn't get to see it. Um, but I looked away and my mom, she saw it because she was sitting on the other side. And um, then I felt the needle go in and I was just like, okay, cool, whatever. And then I just, it, it took a little while, but eventually all of the tubes filled up. There were three tubes. Um, 
Um, I didn't really feel a thing. Well, actually, no, I did feel a thing. It felt really nice. And I closed my hand like usual. Um, wait, like usual? Yeah, like usual. Um, my hand, it felt kind of numb, but I usually feel numb, so that's fine, normal, whatever. Um, and then afterwards she was just like, okay, we're done. Oh, I mean, of course I had to put the gauze on and all that kind of stuff in the aftermath. Um, but then we left and then we went home and then I sat down and played on my computer. And then I had to shower and then we had boil up for dinner, which was actually really nice. We haven't had boil up in like us so long. We're going to have it again tomorrow, the leftovers. Mm. Okay, there, I think my computer's gonna stay still now. Um, what else happened today? Nothing much, really, you know, just the usual. I went to school and I did nothing except, I, I like to play Bubble Shooter a lot now. You see, I used to play The Sims 4 a lot instead of doing my work. Well, because, I mean, I've already finished my work, that's why. Um, but The Sims 4, I've noticed that, like, it drains the battery in my computer so much. And because I'm spending, like, what, like, six hours just playing it, on my computer, then that actually is really draining. And so now I just play, like, I mean, I used to play Age of War, but now I, I realize that I'm just addicted to playing Bubble Shooter, so now I'm just playing Bubble Shooter all day, all, every day. And my eyes do not blink. But hey, it's the weekends now. I'm gonna go paint my nails. Oh, what color should I paint my nails? I'm gonna paint my nails Ooh, one of my favorite black and I have this really cute pink one like pink one and it's sparkly um I think I'm gonna do this hand black and this hand pink and sparkly and it's gonna be totally cute wait no I'm gonna do this hand black and this hand pink and sparkly and it's gonna be epic and tomorrow I'm going shopping oh yeah guys also um so my mom got a call and I have to take the day off school on a Monday because we're going to get my heart checked I have a I forgot what it's called but it's some sort of heart thing and the cool thing is my granddad has the exact same thing at the exact same day on the exact same hospital it just at an earlier time um he has his appointment at like eight and mine is at like it was either 10 30 or 10 or 11 i don't mom i don't know my mom forgot um but it's sometime around 10 or 11 and i'll tell you guys about that on monday and i'm happy because i don't need to go to school on monday because we have pee that day i actually like pee except i don't like having to carry my shoes around all day which is annoying it takes up so much space also yes i was going to record another podcast episode today but i'll probably do that tomorrow because I have a lot happening tomorrow, you know, with a lot of shopping and that kind of stuff. So a podcast episode probably out tomorrow. Look forward to that. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get all the latest updates. Bye-bye.